Five badges down, three more to go. Um, so now that we've taken down Clay, there's not much else for us to do in Driftvale City. Except head on over to the northwest now, where you will run into Bianca. She'll only appear after you've beaten the gym, and she'll marvel at your badge and suggest that you battle! So hey, why not? Let's battle your good old friend Bianca there. Bianca the bodyguard. Um, well, she's pretty much, as per usual, rather clumsy. I don't know, she struggles pulling that Pokeball out of her bag, I, I really don't know. But she does lead with that herd ear of hers, and it has Intimidate, oh joy. But now I have Scald, so I'm not as heavily affected by it. Nor do I really care. So I will toss some burning water into the face of that herd ear. And luckily, its takedown missed me. Unfortunately, she has Hyper Potions left and right, so she'll use those to heal her Pokémon's hit points. Pretty much back to full. Now that was a lucky burn, but it's not going to be enough to take it down. So, unfortunately, she's going to use another Hyper Potion, because she loves to use those things. But it's alright, because it's not like this herd ear is attacking me or anything. And now I take it down. Great. If ever you're in a situation like that, you're doing good. Just have them burn up all of that trainer's uh, items, so then you won't have to deal with them. That's why the art of almost one-hit KOing can be very effective. Even though, quite obviously, the full-on one-hit KO is generally preferred. <laughs> Now I'm gonna send out Snow White here, because I think she's at a high enough level to try take on a Pokemon of her own. So we'll just see. An Ice versus Grass, that's a good matchup. So we'll try an Avalanche here. I don't know if that was a better option, or uh, Icy Wind. I know Icy Wind would have done more, but I was kind of hoping that Pan Siege would do something to hit me and damage me. And now I'm under Torment, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to be using Icy Wind anyway. Oh, you're gonna seed me with Leaf Seed. Snow White was seeded, oh no. Okay, um, so Icy Wind, take that Pan Sage out, and I will level up, well, Snow White will, up to level 28. Now, Pig Knight, that spoils Snow White's day. I am definitely gonna get this little ice cream going out of there before it becomes a puddle of melted ice cream all over the floor. Um, so I'll send out Maryland again. We'll send out our evolved starters, huh? Second form, you know, our middle stage. But, obviously mine is better, because it felled the other one in one hit. I think you can say felled. Like you knocked it out, took it down, felled. I don't know. I've seen it used in a few RPGs here and there. Either that or I just grammar failed all over the place. So the last Pokemon on her team is Musharna, and it's level 26, her little Moony. It's probably the same one that we recovered, but this thing has a lot of hit points and it's rather difficult to take down. Even the Wrath of Mantiblade's Bug Bite couldn't do anything against her. Well, it couldn't one-hit KO that thing. Thankfully, it doesn't hit very hard, so that's at least relatively reassuring. Hopefully you've already expended her Hyper Potions, because it's a pain if she uses Hyper Potions on that thing. Aw, I lost. Yep, you did. Tough. Them's the breaks! I haven't had a battle with you in a while. You've become totally strong, huh? Oh, I want to share this HM with you. Ooh, sweet! HM2! Fly! That's awesome. My papa gave it to me after you tried to take it home that one time. I'm sure it's so I can come home anytime. Oh, I have to share the CEO, Devin. Bye 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 Okay, I'm so teaching this to Hope. So now I can fly around all over the place. And the first place I'm going to fly back to is the first place I started. That would be Nuvima Town. Now, there's a reason for this. Um, you can actually go back earlier on in the game and do some of this stuff, but since you have Fly, it's rather convenient. Now, over the course of your journey, you can come back and talk to Professor Juniper. Depending on how many Pokémon you've seen on the Univadex, she'll give you some items. If you've seen at least 25 Pokémon, she'll give you TM54 which contains False Swipe, and it's very helpful for catching new Pokémon because it won't knock out the Pokémon, leaving it with just one hit point. Unfortunately, I was two Pokémon short of getting the next item, Protect, um, which you get at 60 Pokémon seen. And lastly, later on in the game, probably after you've beaten it, 110 Pokémon seen will net you, uh, uh, what does that net you? 
pretty good move. Um. Oh man. I'll have to remember it. But anyway, it's pretty nice. Um. Oh man, it's gonna be bugging me for a while. Oh well. Anyway, you move on to um. I, I went over to oh the next place because I wanted to use strength. And remember that boulder you saw in the very beginning? Well, you can finally move it outside of Accumula Town, and you can pick up that rare candy I told you about way, way long ago. So now it's finally yours. I'm gonna use Fly again, except this time I'm gonna go to Nacreen City. Now again, you might want to go back to here too, if you have the fossil, because now's a great time to revive it, since you're already here. I'm not gonna bother with that right now, because there's somewhere else I want to go. I want to go inside of the Pinwheel Forest again. That's where I want to go. So I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to switch around my Pokemon or something. Um, and I'm going to head over here. Now, remember, there was an old dude blocking that stairway. He actually moves as soon as... I think as soon as you've gotten your Insect Badge. But I didn't bother to go back there. The only Pokemon you can find in that tall grass, the, the dark grass, are... Well, pretty much the same Pokemon you could find earlier in the forest, except at much higher levels. Um, but there are a few items you can pick up over here, such as a Hyper Potion, which always comes in handy. And there are some boulders over there that cannot be moved with strength. Those will have to be moved by a supernatural force later in the game. But remember them, because you'll actually be able to get a legendary Pokemon. As soon as, um, actually as soon as you get the HM for Surf, which is after your sixth badge. Yeah, I know. So, this is definitely a point of interest you will want to return to. But you're going to need to do something first. I'm not going to get into that right now, though, because that's later on. But I will show you that whole thing later on, when you're able to. Now, this is the main catch of the forest over here. TM-22, Solar Beam. Now, it takes a turn to charge up. But it's a very powerful special base grass type attack, 120 power no less. If you use Sunny Day prior to uh, using it, it will be used instantly. It's an instant charge. So that's really nice to combo with Sunny Day. There's also a hidden rare candy here, which you can find by using the uh, dowsing machine, or just follow the directions on the screen there. And uh, nothing else for right now, but later in the game you can come back here, again after you have Surf, and you can pick up like... Uh, Oh, I don't remember if it's the Poison Barb or the Silver Powder. I think it's the Silver Powder. One of those power-up items for either Bug or Poison types. Again, I'll show you that later on in the game. Sorry, I don't remember everything off the top of my head. It's not like I'm looking at a script while doing any of this. Um, so I'm going much alone the walkthrough I wrote. <laughs> Go figure. So I'm going back to Castellia Town, or Castellia City. Not really because there's anything I need here, but I really want to change my Pokémon's nickname. That stupid little snow cone, or that snow, uh, snowman on my snow cone Pokemon has really been bothering me. So I'm gonna go to the name raider, which takes forever to get to, and I'm going to have him change the name of my Snow White just to drop that stupid little emoticon. Now it's just Snow White. Enough said. I'm not gonna go retro and do those cool little symbol thingies. It was just bothering me. Okay, so, the odds and ends have been tied up, and, uh, we can now head right on back to, well, where I started this episode, as a matter of fact, in Driftvale City! Woohoo! But we're going to be headed northwest bound over to the Charged Stone Cave in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White Adventure.